so this is the last sum of exercise 8.6 and also the last sum of the chapter 8 differential equations okay so this again is our 10 mark sum and uh, it's exercise 8.6 and it's a fifth sum so the sum is about um, you know it's again the uh, procedure everything will be similar okay so you must be able to do it yourself if you're not just you can uh, listen to this video so it says that the radioactive substance disintegrates at a rate which is proportional to its mass so if I assume the mass of the radioactive substance to be A then you know that dA by dt the rate at which the substance is disintegrating is proportional to its mass therefore I can take dA by dt is equal to Ka from this we know the equation is A is equal to C e power kt so in our previous examples and sums of exercise 8.6 we have derived how A is equal to C e power kt but if you are viewing this video for the first time I have written it in the rough here how we derive it if you want a detailed explanation please visit the previous videos or the previous sums so I have just derived it in the rough column here you can have a look ok but uh, let's now proceed to the sum so now we have this equation here so they say that the radioactive uh, substance is disintegrating at a rate proportional to its mass and we assume that the mass to be A so when the mass is 10 milligram they say that the rate of disintegration is 0 0.051 milligrams per day right so when A is equal to 10 they say that the rate of disintegration which is dA by dt is equal to 0 0.051 I am going to add a negative sign here because it is disintegration right therefore I am adding that negative sign here so when the mass is 10 they tell us that the rate of disintegration is 0 0.051 that is minus 0 0.051 okay let us have it aside now they want us to find out how long will it take for the mass to be reduced from 10 milligram to 5 milligram so initially the so I've just written down the steps here but I'll again explain it so what we are doing is we are trying to uh, find out how long it will take for the mass to reduce from 10 milligram to 5 milligram so basically at time t is equal to 0 a is equal to 10 milligram right the value of a is 10 so I substituted this value in this equation and we said that a which is 10 is equal to c into e power 0 which is 1 so we got the value of c to be 10 now you are also having another data that dA by dt is equal to 0 0.051 ok let's make use of this data here we know the equation when we started we know that dA by dt is equal to k into a right now substitute these values over here you know that 0 0.051 is equal to k you don't know k but you know the value of a right which was 10 therefore k is equal to 0 0.051 divided by 10 of course a negative is always there don't forget it so you got the value of k to be equal to 0 0.0051 of course with the negative sign right now when I substitute this value of k also in this equation ok so I will get I am rewriting this equation again for convenience so I have to find what time how long it will take for the mass to reduce from 10 milligram to 5 milligram so I want to know the value of t when a is equal to 5 so let's substitute this and this value also over here so I get 5 is equal to c c we already found out 
to be 10, right? 10 into e power. What is the value of k? Negative 0 0.0051 into t, right? So this can be written as 5 by 10, okay? is equal to e power negative 0 0.0051 into t right 5 by 10 is nothing but 1 by 2 is equal to e power minus 0 0.0051 into t okay now if i have to remove this negative sign what i'm going to do is right it just becomes 2 is equal to e power 0 0.0051 into t so do you know why i remove this negative sign and brought 2 up for those who don't understand that i'll just explain it over here so this equation can be written as 1 by 2 is equal to e power negative power can also be written as 1 by e power 0 0.0051 into t now since both are in the denominator, I can conveniently say 2 is equal to power 0, 0, 0051 into t. Okay, that's what I have done here. So we have to find out t, right? But here it is e power something. So the best thing that we know is to take log. So log 2 is equal to log e power 0 0.0051 0, 0, into t. Now this can be written as log 2 is equal to log of course the log gets removed here so it would just be 0 0.00551 into t therefore t is equal to log 2 divided by 0 0.0051 they have given us the value of log 2 log 2 is equal to 0 0.6931 right so let's substitute it here so this is equal to 0 0.6931 divided by 0 0.0051 right so you can either use log to find it out or you can also uh, plainly divide 6931 divided by 51 and substitute the corresponding decimal